Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit Review Time. Today we've got Border Models latest release. This is the 135th scale conning tower bridge section, if you like, of the uh, Type 7C U-boat. Now, to be honest with you, I was really, really excited about this because, let's face it, if you was trying to do this in 135th scale, it would be massive, stupidly massive. And we've seen them in 148 scale before, and they are absolutely huge and everything else like that. But there's just so much that goes into them. It makes for a massive project. So a little bit like I've spoken about before with weapon systems on, on ships and things like that and turrets, it's great that now we can just focus on one specific area, i.e. sort of around the conning tower. We've got the deck gun and obviously in this case, the torpedo loading area. So again, you can throw all of that detail and have it nice and big in there without the need to build the entire thing, which pretty much most of us have got nowhere to put anything that big anyway. So I'm really, really excited about having a look at this one. So as you can see, it's a big old box. It's quite large, as you can see, and it does state up here that you only get the bridge and the weapons uh, that are included into it, i.e. the deck guns and the flat gun on the back. To give you an idea, just off the bat, this is the section you're actually be getting. So as you can see, you can have torpedo loading, deck guns out of the way, obviously with the tower and the various other different options you've got down in here. So if you wanted to, you could have it completely sort of gunless, uh, you know, sorry, around the back here, we have the deck gun just on its own, or you could have the loading area just like that. So again, lots of nice options with this. You can get crew, but to be honest, they are on a separate um, offer. So you can either have a deck gun uh, crew, or you can have torpedo loading as well. So there is two options for those ones down in there. So down in here, you've got one for the Mediterranean in 1942. You've got one down in here, uh, what's that, St. Nazir in March uh, uh, 1942 as well, which is probably the most famous one because it's got swordfish on. And then over here as well, we've got one from the North Atlantic as well, 1942 as well. So you've got three options down in here. So the box itself is very, very large as you can tell. So we're doing best to get it all in screen. But we are greeted by quite a lot of bits and pieces, as you can see down in here, just like this. It all looks very nicely packaged. So again, obviously we've got the conning tower area, the various parts on it, just like that. It's all separate bagged. So they've obviously you've got the decking, torpedo to give you an idea of how big this is. All right. So we've got some smaller sprues. Again, a little bit of a twin one going on there for the hatches. Some more areas around the conning tower there it is that gives you an idea of how big this lump is lovely detail on the surface of that all right then we've got a box which is protecting the cage actually that's a really clever way of just doing it like that so obviously we've got the caging and for the sort of you know area around the back where the flat gun is and all the rest of it so that just protects that and keeps it all safe so that's very nice to see and then obviously the big bit God, this actually weighs an absolute ton in fact, what we do, we show it on this angle to give you an idea of the size of it. And it is solid, absolutely solid, this. This isn't a, a thin piece of plastic. Uh, it's definitely not back form. That is absolutely immense. I wasn't expecting anything, to be honest, that thick. I thought we might get, obviously, you know, a sturdy piece of plastic, but honestly, so this is a standard A2 cutting mat to give you an idea of the size. So you think, from my grid work in, inside here, it's 40, uh, 57 centimetres. So if you allow another two each side, you've got to be nearing just, just over 60 centimetres, I think. Has it got? Yeah, 60 centimetres total. All right, so that gives you an idea, but that is absolutely... I'm amazed how solid that is. I just wasn't expecting anything quite as chunky. Now I know where the money's gone because you've got an incredible piece of plastic just like that. Anyway, we'll have a proper look at that in a moment. As always, we'll start down in the old instruction. So again, we've got some photo etch, a little bit of wiring, and we've got the decals, which we'll have a look at in the moment. All right. So this is what we were talking about at the front here. If we just zoom down, you have got an option and it is a separate, but you can purchase. Obviously, we've got some deck gun crew, obviously, with the commanders on the top telling where to shoot. Or you can have those said same commanders telling you how to load a torpedo tube. All right. So again, two different ones. They're completely separate and they don't come with a kit. But depending on obviously what you're planning on doing with it, you could have it like a little dock scene, something else like that, perhaps some torpedoes loaded. Or obviously you can have it perhaps a little bit more in the water, but that's the ones you can do. So anyway, they are resin figures. I have seen them. They are very, very nice. I haven't got them here for review today, but they did look uh, beautifully done as well. So there we go. So it's BR002. 
uh, for the actual uh, deck gun crew, we've got BR003 for the torpedo uh, loading sequence, all right? So that gives you a, a little bit of an extra if you did want to add some more detail to it. So there we go, there's your hull set down in there and the various other parts just down in this one. So there's not a ton of sprues to it. And I did wonder what these were. I couldn't work out exactly what those were, uh, but that makes a little bit more sense as well. So they're coming up down in here to the actual conning tower area and running down underneath. You've got your hatches as well. So this is the rear hatch. So you can obviously have that open or closed, whichever way you want to do it. The front hatch as well, open or closed. And again, you get a nice little bit of photo etch as well for the, uh, the handles and things on there as well. So some nice details just down in there. All right, pretty straightforward so far. Then you're up into the actual conning tower itself. So there's a little bit of detail going to be going on the inside. So you're popping those in. You've got some photo etch as well, making up those areas as well. So that's very nice. Then you've got this plate, which I assume is going to go, which it does inside. So again, another hatch to go down in there. And we've got a, a little hold back as well for that one being fitted in. Same photo etch as we've seen on the other doors as well. And then down in here, you're going to be fitting that sort of decked area inside the conning tower itself. All right. You've got all the gauges and the equipment obviously in there as well. And then down here on the front, You've got some further little bits of items. I assume that's a speaker in there and things like that. All right. So again, some very nice touches all the way through on here. So you've sort of got the internal pressure shell, if you like, from the hatch is going to go up inside. So that makes quite nice sense. Nice little bit of detail. So when you are looking through, if you have got the hatches open, you could add a light in there or something else like that, small LED, and see that detail a little bit further down. All right. So very nice indeed. All the details being added on. More photo etch as well being added onto this one. As you can see in there nothing too taxing it's pretty straightforward all the way through so we've got the periscopes obviously being fitted we've got the antennas on there various other items going up in the front then we've got that cage system running around the back through source protected by that box at the moment and all in there for the flat gun life ring various items handles going right the way through and then again so you could do this with a little bit of wire if you want that says it is including the kit and you can wind it down as well onto there onto the periscope so you can do all of those and then it's over to more of the detail work so down the back here we've actually got the flat gun so we've got that one being fitted down underneath on there so that's fitted in the periscope and the observer stuff and bits pieces they're all going to be fitted down into it then you've got the main duck gun itself so main deck gun going being put down in through there really nice detail as you can see deck gun being put on board then again depending on what you're doing with it you've got the loading tray uh, as well being fitted down in there for obviously putting the torpedoes on board you've got the torpedo itself and then obviously you can have that in your little diorama finally the railings all going around the outside being fitted down into there various things as you can see and then obviously you've got your markings so you've got sort of normal camo type markings down in there for the Mediterranean ones, the Atlantic ones just purely in the grey right the way over, right the way through. So again, nice touch with all of those. Okay, so <clears throat> decals themselves, obviously there isn't much to them. And I'm not going to worry about getting this one out because it's just literally three decals. So there's not a lot of point looking there. There's your photo etch though, which actually is very nice. You get a little bit of wire as well. So if you did want to wrap it round on there as well. But the handles look quite nicely done, detailed. Pretty much what we'd expect with that one. All right. So if we have a slightly closer look down at this, you can see a lot of the detail on this. It is, I can't get over how thick and solid this is. It's an absolute beast. But again, looking at it, the detail is very nice right the way through. So again, you've got all the, the angle markings down on here as well. Obviously, the equipment will be fitted inside, but you've got some nice details on here. You've got the riveting, and it's all raised on the sides, various things for the vents. It's got that beautiful scoop in here as well. Very nice, very, very accurate. And then down on the back as well, some of the little stowage hatches, things like that. And then down on the inside, you can see it is just absolute beast. So again... Because it's a solid, what's really nice with this is that you're not going to be worried about transportation with this thing. Because by the time you've got the bits on it, you could literally just sit it like that and you know it's not going to go anywhere because it is absolutely solid. If it's a little bit flimsy and whimsy and a bit wobbly, you'd be a bit sort of delicate. This has literally got zero twist of it. You've got to really force it to make that twist. So very nice with that. Next, we've actually got the 
main conning tower itself. So, and again, beautiful detail. The plastic itself has got a lovely texture. So it's sort of still got that sort of steel texture to it already. And the color is actually not too bad either, but really very, very nice. And again, when you have a closer look, you can see the riveting detail. Absolutely beautifully done. Very, very nicely done indeed. And again, one of those ones which is going to be great to weather it and everything else. It's not a lot going down on the inside at the moment, but obviously it will be. We've got a few of these kicking around which easily just ping off, literally just give them a nudge and they come away. So they're easy to deal with. And again, nice touch of details just down here for the railings, how they're going to attach and all the bits and pieces. So yeah, very, very nice indeed. So again, good, absolutely solid this thing. Okay, so if we just run through, so just down in here, we've got the deflection ring stop water coming up at you. So again, all the details down in there. We've got this system down in here, as we know where it comes through. So that's pretty darn good. A little bit more decking just down on there on that one. And then we go over here. There's not a million screws to this which means, you know, it's going to be quite quick getting it together. And the big detail is obviously the deck gun and the flat gun on the back. So, uh, but again, I can imagine most of us are going to be tied down with doing all the weathering. So as you can see, really very nice. This is the inside that pressure uh, area at the top of the conning tower. So again, some very good, solid. This is all absolutely solid. Really very, very nice indeed. Little areas down in here. All the various parts, the periscopes, and then moving across, you can see we've got the inside of the top of the conning tower. There's a little bit of detail even down on the top here, which you're never going to see, but there you go, it's there. And again, really, really nice. There's no sink marks, there's no massive ejector pins or anywhere. It's just a really nice, solid uh, build, I think, all the way through with this one. It's very nice. Okay, so next up we've got the torpedoes. And I'll see the Colling Towers deck area, things like that. Here we are on Spruce C. Again, really very, very nice indeed. Some nice touches all the way through. So again, that deck area looking all very nice. We've got the, I assume this is the tubes going down and in torpedoes themselves very very nice We've got this equipment that's going to go inside the actual uh, conning tower area all the various lumps and bumps bits of deck gun down there as well so again very very nice indeed there is a lot of these in here the old half ejector pin half you know locating type things down in here they'll just push clean out of the way anyway so that's fine very nice indeed okay some of the smaller little things. So we've actually got the hatches on here. One out. We'll just get one out for the minute. So this is a match pair. Very nice. This is on sprue E. Looking very nice indeed. So again, you've got your hatches. There's a little ejector pins down in there. It's a little bit annoying, so you're going to have to get in there and remove those. And I assume you would have detail on the inside as well. I didn't see that in the instructions. But obviously, if you've got it open, you're going to be wanting to have some uh, mechanics on the inside of those. Uh, I've got the life ring. Various parts down in here. Very, very nice. We've got a crate. We've got some shells for the deck gun. And I assume these are shells for the flat gun as well. So we've got some extra items. We've got the little plinths as well for standing on. Very nice. And then down in here, I assume, I could be wrong, but I assume that's your antenna for the wiring on the front. But it's not going to go all the way to the front. So I don't know how you're going to get around that. You'd have to make a fake thing up for it uh, so it goes through. But you obviously you do need the wiring coming off the front. But yeah, where you would take that to, I'm not too sure. So that's obviously the front or the rear one. Again, apart from that though, all very nice indeed. We've got this little sprue down in here, which I won't take out the back because we don't really need to. But again, nicely detailed. All the parts down in there like that. Again, 
Okay, so in here, I'm not going to get this out of the box purely because it's so well packaged, I don't want to have to redo it. Um, and plus of that, I don't want to break it, but you can probably see that's the, all the railings all around the outside and everything nicely packaged in one box. So actually very, very nicely done. Cleverly done on that one. But again, there's a tiny little burring I can even see straight through into it. So there is a little bit of burring on the framing, but you know, a couple of swipes down in there with a the sanding stick just to take those off. I think it'd be absolutely fine with those. So yeah, absolutely. I think this is definitely a bit of a must build. You know, this is just one of those ones where I've been talking about for ages, how not massively be into ships. I'm into ships. I just don't like building them because they're just huge, big projects. And the couple that I've done over the years have taken so long to do. I know we do an aircraft carrier, letting yourself in for it. But yeah, but something like this, it's still huge. It's still big, but it's totally manageable and it's not over the top. So when the conning towers on this, you're going to have a beast literally like this. But I'm really happy it's on this really strong base because you could literally move this around and handle it and all the rest of it without fear of breaking it either because you can get hold of it in some areas as well for transportation and things like that. So honestly, I think it's going to be a fantastic build. I've got this one in for me because I actually really fancy having a go at this particular kit as well. So hopefully some point this year, we'll knuckle down and we'll put this thing together. So all I need to do is decide on what crew I'm going to get because definitely I think it's a, a worthy upgrade to have a crew with it. Of course, you don't have to. You could just have it there as if it's sat in dock or something else like that. But if you did want to create a little bit of movement with it, I think the crew is a worthy upgrade to it as well. Anyway, that is Border Models 130 bib scale conning tower area, right part of the actual Type 7C U-boat.